A recent outbreak of violence has raised security concerns in the Mideast. CBS News foreign correspondent MTS Tayyip is in Jerusalem. Secretary Blinken's visit comes as violence continues to sweep across Israel and the occupied West Bank. And violence so deadly we haven't seen it on this scale in several years. Now, yesterday saw the funeral of a married couple who were shot dead alongside five others by a suspected Palestinian gunman just outside a synagogue on Friday. The alleged 21-year-old attacker's family home has now been sealed shut by Israeli police as part of a series of punitive measures passed by recently re-elected Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his cabinet were described as the most extreme right-wing government this country has ever seen. The new measures, which follow a massive Israeli raid on the Palestinian city of Jenin, in which nine Palestinians were killed, also includes taking away the IDs, work permits, and other rights of families of suspected attackers. Now, separately, Blinken's visit to the region comes as Iran says bomb-carrying drones targeted several defense facilities, including one in Iran's central city of Isfahan overnight. And while there is no immediate claim of responsibility, Tehran has been targeted in suspected strikes by its bitter rival Israel for years now.